Good morning. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, Old Blue is gone. Girl is left the ridge. That's right. Got up bright and early this morning. Got Old Blue loaded up onto the 20-foot equipment trailer, and uh, filmed a filmed it. Filmed the whole process. I uh, filmed um, basically how to safely lo uh, load your trailer and secure it. I had some uh, Vivor uh, uh, binders and chains. I uh, got to show show how to use those, and uh, should be pretty fun. I guess so. I'll have a Ridge Life video, and then I'm actually going to have a Ridge Life's reviews and how tos video, two separate videos, on uh, what Old Blue's getting and uh, how, you know that whole process, uh, getting her loaded up, taking her up to the New Holland dealership. Oh my gosh, guys! At the New Holland dealership, they've got some beautiful real tractors. I mean, blue, beautiful, powerful, tall, sleek, sexy, good looking. Ain't no fat, squat, red tractors there. Uh uh uh. They're all hot girls. Mm, mm, mm. Love me a New Holland tractor. Don't you love New Holland tractor? I think you do too. Oops. Got my work life coffee here. Ooh, man. I've been, uh, uh, had me a cup this morning before I started working, uh, loading up the uh, trailer. And uh, now, uh, now that everything's uh, done, I'm gonna finish up the last of this cup here. Ooh, I'm just—I got some drinking problem. I just spilt it on me. Ooh, I'm gonna get it on my seat seat belt. Mm. That's some good night shift coffee, though. Work life. Mm. Gotta get uh, towing this 20-foot equipment trailer here, and uh, you gotta be a little more particularly careful. Man, it was really butt puckering uh, towing that uh, with that uh, big old. I bet old blue she uh, with the she only had the front end loader. She didn't have the uh, any any attachment on the back. And um, I got water in the tires. I bet she's every bit of seven thousand pounds the way she was. Um, probably probably seven thousand pounds. I thought that's a pretty good sized trailer. I'm just guessing though. I'm just guessing. Mm mm mm. Um, so I did have a problem though. I was on the way there, towing Old Blue on the trailer, had her all secured down nice and safe, and uh, going through the back road. It's a, it's a back two-lane country road that goes from uh, where I live down to Bahalia, Mississippi, to Twin Hills Equipment, a New Holland dealership down there, not too far from where I live. But it's a back road. If you take the interstate, it's a long way around. Plus, I didn't want to do that with a big tractor on the back. But anyway, I'm going down the highway or the, the county road and everything. I pull up to the New Holland dealership and I lost it. She came off. Oh, ho, ho. I was so upset. It was, I was, I was, I was like, oh my goodness. It came off. What came off, may you ask? The grease buddy on the back left wheel. You're like, what's a grease buddy? There's a little cap that goes over the uh, axle and uh, it's got a little rubber stopper thing on it and you, uh, that's how you pack the bearings with grease. And I, when I pulled in and got out, I looked down, I saw that all the grease was slung out all around the tire there. I was like, oh man, now the thing was, that thing had popped off a couple times before. And I popped it back on, and uh, but I always caught it, you know, local trips and stuff. But this time it's gone. I lost it. it, it I, I have no idea where it's at. So I'm going right now before I go home. I'm stopping by the trailer dealership where I got uh, that equipment trailer and tell them my problem, how it kept popping off and how I've lost it, and see if they can pop another one on there for me and put a little more grease in it. Because that was that was you know you don't want to ride a trailer trailer wheel without without grease in the bearings. That's for sure. Don't want to get it. Luckily, it's dry today. There's no rain. It, it was supposed to rain a lot last night, but it didn't. It, it, we've had one rain in over three months now. One rain in three months. Uh, grass is still growing somehow. I've been putting all that, you know, uh, ridge, beautiful, sweet well water on it, you know, spending all that gasoline money. But the beast did amazing pulling Old Blue. First time beast, uh, Old Blue's pull. I mean, the beast has pulled Old Blue on the trailer. First time I've loaded Old Blue on that trailer. And uh, I had uh, jack stands under the back. I had uh, chalks. I had the 
emergency brake on, you know, I had, the, I had my seat belt on, I had my rollover protection, and uh, y'all be proud of me. Y'all be, I hope y'all watch that video and see, see, let me know if I did it safely. Because um, a lot of times you people see people uh, load up tractors and you're like, oh, that was so scary. Butt puckering moments, you know? And just sometimes you see people do things on, on videos and you're like, Man, I'm I'm watching a train wreck here. I'm 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 gonna watch somebody get hurt. And I don't ever want I don't ever want to watch somebody get hurt, and I don't ever want to get hurt. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, old blues up there. Uh, uh, Twin City Equipment, Twin Twin Hills Equipment. I'm sorry, Twin Hills Equipment, by Hallie, Mississippi. And um, I'm gonna get uh, some missing clips replaced. I'm gonna get the uh, the hood shock. Uh, the hood the hood don't come up and always hits me in the head when I'm working on the battery and all that stuff, cleaning out the filters and radiator and all that. So I'm gonna have them replace that shock, a couple clips, and um, then I'm gonna have, her, have them do that 300 hour service. Um, change the hydrostatic transmission oil and all the, th the differential oil, things I normally don't do. I normally change the oil and filters and all those things myself, air filters and all that, oil filter. Uh, but there's the power steering fluid, there's the uh, hydrostatic transmission fluid, there's the differential fluid, there's the oil, uh, there's the coolant, all that stuff. She needs all that stuff replaced because uh, she's been rode hard and sometimes put away wet. Yeah, haven't always treated her the best. I've ran her into trees or buckets all bent up. Maybe they can maybe they can straighten out that bucket for me. Normally, I heat it up with a torch and then slam on it with a sledgehammer about 100 times to straighten it out, and it needs to be done again. But uh, yeah, I've actually uh, got the uh, the step to get up onto it. I got it wrapped around a tree one time and bent it all up, and I had to I put it back together. So, and uh, yeah, I, I put old blue through through the ringer, uh, but she she's clear now. Y'all, some of y'all haven't been with me long enough to know this. Whenever I, I uh, lived on the seven acres and then we bought the 30.45 acres where we're living on now, uh, it was all woods, no house, no road, no trail. Uh, I had to uh, forge the trail with Old Blue and a chainsaw. So I cleared part of a field with Old Blue and a ratchet rake and uh, made trails and all that. And yeah, a lot of y'all haven't seen that. There's some videos out there. They're not very good videos because like when I first started and had terrible cameras, terrible mics, and I didn't know how to talk in front of a camera and everything. But you gotta start somewhere, right? You, you, gotta, you gotta learn, you gotta learn. I'm not saying I'm any better now, but <laughs> that's true, that's true. Somebody was saying um, my uh, Coke Zero is making my teeth brown. I need to. I drink so much uh, work-life coffee and Coke Zero, I probably need to uh, do some of those teeth, teeth cleaning trays, don't I? Get past here. Oh, actually, that's my exit coming up pretty soon. Time's just flying today, guys. Time is just flying. Um, so Morgan's off to college. Uh, Tyler's doing well. Uh, Alyssa's getting ready to pop. She could have a baby any day, my little grandson, Jarrett. Uh, Adelie was just in the uh, Dyer County Fair and she won second maid. That's right, second maid uh, in the beauty contest. I don't think they call it beauty contest anymore, do they? I don't know what they call them, but she's the, she, she didn't win queen, but she got second maid. She's a cutie now. So that's all going well. Grandma Carol's been uh, doing all kinds of stuff. She's got all kinds of project going on. She's insulating um, the dog shed. You know, she got that drop-in shed. Shed the dog house, shed the tiny dog house. She's uh, been insulating the inside of that. Maybe I'll show you some uh, uh, sneak peeks of that. That's her, that's her work. That's not mine. I've been giving her a little bit of pointers and stuff. She's also going to be building a gate, a double gate on the back porch of the log home. Probably going to help her with that a little bit, cut some wood and things. She uh, Actually, she's been doing some work on the inside of the chicken coop. She didn't like how the nesting boxes were, and uh, I cut some, cut some wood for her there, and she mounted a new little... Uh, um, guard in front of the nesting box and put fresh straw and everything in there to see if they keep them from kicking all the straw out of the nesting box. You know, that's always one of the hardest things with chickens. They want to kick all that straw out. You know, they, you give them a good thing and they just, uh, they, they just take advantage of it, right? So she's doing well, but tomorrow is her birthday. Grandma Carol's birthday is tomorrow. And uh, Gavin, uh, y'all know my son Gavin, uh, he's coming over this. Actually, I'm going to pick him up this afternoon. 
and uh, we're going to take her to go see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the new Beetlejuice movie, and uh, take her out to eat. She wanted to see Beetlejuice, uh, so uh, as a little birthday uh, gift, take her out. We're going to go to that MXT theater. That's like a, it's not an IMAX, but it's like one step below IMAX. It has special Atmos sound, and it's an MXT. I forgot what MXT stands for, but it's a, it's a huge, it's a, uh, it's a Malco theater. It's huge. Pay a little extra for that, but uh, that's all right. She's worth it. Go uh, go watch that. Have a, have a nice dinner, whatever she wants to eat. Uh, take her out. But that was so cool going to that New Holland dealership. There were so many big tractors. There were there were uh, uh, some Workmaster 50s, and um, I don't think they have 55s anymore. But there's 75s, and uh, 75s. They just all the all the fifties look so small compared to all those seventy fives, nineties, and you know all those big big old tractors. Um, but I think my fifty five does exactly what I needed to do. I think any bigger would be harder to get it into the woods, and any smaller just wouldn't have enough power. I think for a utility trailer or a tractor, I think a fifty five uh, horse range works perfectly. Now uh, David's. You know, his is a little underwhelming. His is like a, uh, see, mine's a 55. His is like a 40, 39 or 43 or something like that. He ain't got no turbo or anything, you know. <laughs> it's a nice tractor. I'm just kidding. Even though it is red, it's still nice. Oh, this work-life coffee uh, is keeping me, keeping me energized. I was going to video the rambling on the way to... Uh, there, but I really don't want to be talking to you with the big tractor on the back. You really couldn't see it anyway because the way my backrests are and everything. And uh, I would have had to be a way more careful. Uh, and uh, I don't think filming a video while I'm doing that's uh, quite the safe thing to do. At least not yet. You know, that's my first time with this tractor, this trailer, this uh, truck. So got it all and got those new uh, those new uh, Vivor. Uh, binders and chains too. Those were pretty good. I, I was pretty, pretty, pretty impressed with how easy those things were. First time I ever actually used that kind. Uh, I, I've, I've had, I've got some binders I've used on my uh, ratchet rake and everything, but a little bit different. I liked them. Anybody seen the Beetlejuice movie yet? Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think, and uh, I'll be seeing it today, and I'll be able to respond back. Tell you what I thought. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna stop by the. Uh, tractor dealership here in just a second and um, I'm gonna also gonna stop by and get Grandma Carol's other gift I got her a couple things I'll tell you tomorrow what I got her I'm not gonna tell you today because she'll see this video and know what I got her but um, I got her a couple things and one of them I think she's really going to enjoy uh, matter of fact uh, I think we all probably would enjoy it uh, I'll tell you again I'll tell you what that is tomorrow so be sure to check out Ramblin tomorrow that's on Grandma Carol's birthday uh, Jin Jin is not here this weekend. Um, she is going to a concert tonight with her friend. She ain't, she ain't done hardly anything with her in so long. But she's actually going uh, this week on a Florida girls trip with her, uh, her friends. Going down there. I think she's going to Clearwater, Tampa area. I think. Clearwater, Tampa area. Um, she's going to be on just for a few days. And then come back, and I'll get to see my Jin Jin. So, wish Jin Jin the best on her Florida trip and her concert tonight. Uh, and I actually, I'm gonna go uh, over to see her Monday. I'm gonna spend the night with. She's leaving Tuesday, but I'm gonna go and spend go over and spend the night with her Monday. Oh, big deer on the side of the road. Is it a buck? Oh, I couldn't tell. Dead deer. Got hit by a truck. Um, yeah. I'm, so because I ain't gonna get to see her. Uh, this weekend or um, I don't know when when she's coming back next week actually she's staying through the weekend she's not leaving until Tuesday yeah she's staying through the weekend she'll be back probably Sunday um, but uh, so I'm going to go over and spend the night with her Monday so I get to see my Jin Jin before she heads off you know it's two weeks is the longest we've ever been apart and it is hard it is hard 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 mm-mm-mm uh, let's see what else is going on. Oh, I talked to David this morning. He was out deer hunting. Uh, I have not been out deer hunting yet. Our We had an early uh, velvet hunt. Uh, it was actually a couple weeks ago, the end of September, or last week. Uh, I did not go because it was just too hot. It was 100 degrees. I don't want to be out there with uh, mosquitoes or anything. I'd like to be able to get a deer in velvet. That'd be really cool, big buck. 
but I'm just not in a position right now with everything going on with the builds and everything. Uh, I just didn't want to be right in the middle of it. So I'm going to be uh, prepping up all my deer stands and everything as soon as Morgan comes up to help me. And uh, I'll be ready for bow season when our regular bow season comes in. He had a special hunt too. His was this weekend. And uh, uh, I'm not going to tell you what, what happened, okay? But uh, he had something happen, and I think you'll be... I'll be, I think you'll be quite amazed. I really do. It's going to be a pretty, pretty crazy thing. I haven't heard from Gary. See how he did on his uh, uh, deer hunting trip this morning. I'll be giving him a text later to see how Gary did. All right, I'm pulling up to the uh, trailer dealership now. So I'm going to have to let you all go. Hope you all enjoyed today's rambling. I'm very, very excited about getting old Blue her makeover. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridge Life.